Hey guys, and welcome back to Outbreak. Uh, when we last left off, we managed to get ourselves the Clover Key. So, let's go all the way back, shall we? And uh, stick it in a door and see what happens. I'm guessing the door's gonna open. Oh, evening. Oh, got a Twitcher. Welcome to your doom. Get the fuck out of here, kid. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Do you know the way, brother? He knows the way. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I love those guys. So cuddly. He just wants a cuddle, man. Hey, friend. Ooh, Jesus. Well, I think he left the atmosphere. And I'm totally okay with that. Right, let's keep going. I should explore the rest of the house. That key should open something. Yep. The Twitcher is indeed showing us the way. Oh, zombie. Hey, zombie. Right. Wake this guy up. This way. Step right up. I have the cure for ails, you friend. Now, where was that? Where indeed? Whoa. He's a bit of a hot stepper. So you push up on the D-pad to move forwards. Because, you know. And she kind of back pedals a little bit. <laughs> Weird, man. Hey. Hey, whatever. Yo. Right. Let's keep going. We're on warning health. I wouldn't mind to take a health kit just to see if that actually does heal her. Just uh, and see if it patches up her clothing. Which is interesting. You know. Oh. Welcome to die. Come on, big fella. Ooh. I think all his teeth came out with that one. All right, well, let's keep going. Keep pushing this rabbit hole. I haven't actually saved this game yet either, which is a little bit awkward, but I think we'll be all right. Looks like we've got a couple of twitches fast approaching. That acid attack totally missed. Which pleases me greatly. We've got two shells left. Oh, great. Could be worse. We could have no shells left. That'd be awkward. Uh, right. Well, I mean, this is the only door we have, so... Lova. Would you bloody believe it? That was the door. Oh, hey, friend. Yeah, see, if we go back through here... And then open this door again. We'll see our friendly little gribbly face winking at us. It kind of made a weird sound as we came through there. Right. See him? Kind of like moves his head and rattles his jaw. He's alright. You're alright, buddy. More corpses. The face shows unbearable agony. Uh-huh. Cool story, dude. Let's go. Now, what do we have next? I'm guessing zombies. Oh no, we got save room. Sweet. Right, let's eat a health kit. Oh, I mean, we've still got a little bit of damage to our shoulders. Let's see if we exit the room to refresh her model. No, she's... Okay. Still got ripped. Alright. I really thought that actually healed us. Healed our uh, clothing. Hmm. I guess not. I mean, what the hell do I know? What have we got in here? We've got a save disc. Right. Okay. So, I think... We need to get some gear. We could take the AR. 
Reload that puppy. Okay, we... Thank you. We literally just reloaded that and it showed the gun being empty, which was curious to say the least. Uh, we'll take that puppy. We will take... That puppy. We will take... Oh, we do actually still have some more rifle rounds. We'll use those. Now, that actually topped the magazine off. Nice. Yeah, you can see some like graphical glitching when you go into this screen, which is a bit odd, but we're not going to question it. All right. Uh, let's go with the mag for now. And uh, see what this brings us. Oh. Okay. All right, well, let's wake these guys up. I guess we're not white at the end then. He's had enough. Oh, we got another one. Out of the way, Zamble. There you go. Do you feel better for that? Yeah, you do. You feel much better. She was a greedy bitch. Oh, fucking... Oh, God. We actually blew his head through the wall. Through the floor, at least. Right, he's done. Jeez. Louise. Big puppa cheese. Uh, we actually don't want that. Oh. Hey, friend. Grab some handgun rounds. Should have enough to take this guy out. There we go. Come on, buddy boy. Not sure why there's the, uh, the sickle and the hammer there. <laughs> I thought we was in the States, but maybe not. Unless there's more going on here than we realize. Well, we've got a lot of shitters. Which is interesting. How many shitters does one room need? Ooh. We've got some absolute units coming towards us. Let's see if we can't take these boys out. St at least stunlock them anyway. Right. Ooh. That's the hit of the whole fruit right there. Okay, so we've got a diary. The security system for the lower labs was recently upgraded, given the importance of utilizing the manor area as a type of staging area and buffer zone. We need to ensure that no viral material enters or exits unless it's intentional. Our new system now performs a full scan of the room before the passageway to the lower labs is unlocked. If there's any viral material detected, it simply will not open. There is a failsafe to allow somebody trapped underground to get out, but it requires approval from a director level employee before it can be employed. Mm. Okay. Overall, this should keep everybody more safe. Everybody more safe. And help calm some nerves. A viral outbreak is easily one of the most dangerous things that can occur at this site. And it needs to be our top priority to block any such scenario. Yeah, um, okay, well, I mean, I guess that kind of does explain why we can't back out of this place once we engage the end scenario, but there's some shotgun shells there. We don't actually have the shotgun. What have we got? We've got some magnum rounds. We've got the hat. Yeah, we'll be fine. So this is the room here, I believe. Yeah, we can't actually leave this room. Which I think is rather strange. Oh, good. Good aim there. Good aim, that woman. I think we're out. Did I fire five shots or did I fire six? Yeah, she really can't aim for shit. Which, especially, well, with this gun anyway. Oh, God, with this weapon. Which I've never really, I don't understand. She, like, in, is it meant to just illustrate that it's harder to aim than the other weapons? I don't know. I don't have all the answers, guys. You know? There we go. One of the terminals must open a passage. I better explore the room. Yes, yeah, so, uh, you can see the, like, 
how much health the enemies have seems to be kind of random. That doesn't do shit. Gee, would it be this one here? Maybe. Yes, maybe. And that's the end of the first chapter. Lydia searched through the laptop's file system frantically. She could hear the monstrosities outside the door. They had found her and pinned her into the bunker. The only way out would be to locate the entrance to the laboratory under the bunker and escape. She eventually found the release and the wall behind her slid to the side, revealing a series of steps into the dark into a dark tunnel. She slowly proceeded forwards. Once she, fa once she was a few steps down, the wall closed behind her, just as the door gave way and the monstrosities fled in. She could hear their muffled screams as they tore the room apart. The passageway opened into a well-lit, clean-looking laboratory passageway. She got the feeling that the size of the underground hallway were immense. There was no sign of any survivors, but at least she had power. She wondered what happened to her friends. Had they survived the fall into the river and made their way to the manor? Were they hunted down and killed by the monstrosities? She had to keep moving. If she found a way back to the surface level, maybe she could begin her search again. She slowly began moving down the corridor, dread growing within her. To be continued. Mm -hmm. Chapter 1 complete. Results D. Difficulty normal. Kills 50. We used four healing items. We fired 364 shots. We didn't save once. I think the first time we used, uh, I used like, I don't know, six or seven healing items. And I think we saved it, but like six times. But I didn't know what was coming up. <clears throat> As Lydia continued down the hallway, the power was suddenly cut alone. In a pitch black room, she began hearing the familiar moans of those creatures. She turned on her flashlight and saw a horde immediately ahead of her, blood dripping from their clothing, a look of pure agony in their eyes. They charged her. She readied her shotgun and began firing into the crowd. Uh, <clears throat> we didn't take the shotgun, but okay. The beast fell. The beasts fell under her onslaught, but her ammo ran dry quickly, having depleted most of it in her last confrontation. She switched to her handgun and aimed carefully, but the horde was vast and unending. She couldn't hold the hallway for long. She frantically looked behind her and found a side passageway. She slipped in past the storage box and forced her way through. Behind her, the monstrosities beat endlessly on the blockade. She kept firing. A stray shot hit a gas canister and the fireball erupted behind the horde. Smoke triggered emergency alarms, apparently on battery backup. But the lights did not come back. A, uh, lit by the flame, she saw the beasts continue their approach. She saw a small vent on her right. She pulled down the cover, cutting her hands, and ripped it off. Abandoning her equipment, she dove into it and crawled down the passageway. The beasts were unable to follow. The gas main she had hit. Oh, really? Thanks, game. That happened before. Sometimes you push A to make all the text appear, and it just kind of fucking skips the whole lot, which is annoying. Right, anyway, uh, basically we ended up down here in the underground labs, and we have nothing but a knife. And some flame. So, let's start exploring. Where are we now, Lydia, my friend? Where are we now? Okay... Well, you know what this game's like for reading. There's plenty more. That ambient soundtrack is pretty good, to be honest. So, you can't actually get hurt by the fire here, which is nice. Corpse. More corpses covered in blood. They are doused in a strong smelling chemical. Hmm. So, what have we got here? Keith and I are still going back and forth in our friendly little game. Well, you need stuff like this to keep you sane, locked in these damn tunnels. 
but we're now messing around with the door locking systems based on the chemical compositions we're working with. I've got Keith this time though. We've locked the doorway and uh, out of our lab with this really tricky one this time. The code is Omega Beta Gamma. He will never get it. His lunch is trapped on the other side as well. So in about two hours, he'll be losing his mind begging for the code. <laughs> this is going to be fun. We really need to get some new friends. Hmm. So if we search these. There we go. Gamma chemical 2. What was that? It was beta gamma. Omega beta gamma. So we need omega. Take the magnum rounds, sure. Don't remember finding those before. Beta, chemical five. Right, where's the other? Omega, chemical nine. Right, so was it five, three, nine? No. I think actually this might be randomized. Uh nine five two. There we go. So very easy to crack that, but we don't actually have a gun. Is one thing to note. I don't know if this game's been updated, but it seems to be running smoother than it did. We've got an item box here. The storage box lock is completely jammed. I could pry open with some tools. I'm not actually going to do that because there's a few things we need to pry open with tools on this level. And one of them is just a storage box. So it seems to be a bit of a waste of tools, if you ask me. Right. Uh, still no Zambles. We do have a book. We've got some durable but worn heavy wiring. Capable of handling large electrical current. Hmm. Sounds like it's going to be useful at some point. The door has a standard lock. There's got to be a key in these tunnels. I would hope so. We've noticed something interesting. There's a side effect of the mutation. Well, it's less of a side effect and more of an attack vector. Despite the disease originating as an injection directly into the heart of the specimen, it spreads through far different means. We know that scrapes and bites would act as an injection vector, that's just obvious, but it was the proliferation of the haze that was unique. We lost a whole room of researchers during the initial trials. It manifests as a fog that fills the air with particles. It expands and replicates across the available volume of space. Anything breathing would be infected immediately. This makes an outbreak scenario extremely likely and their use as bioweapons all the more practical. But we've noted, also noticed that some folks are immune to its effects. Hmm. Are we immune? Maybe. What have we got here? Large hunter tanks. The hell are these tubes for? Yeah. Looks like somebody dropped a handgun here. Ah, very nice. That's more like it. Look at this, though. This is really cool. More bullets. We do like our bullets in this game. So, the door opening mechanism is busted. I need some bolts to fix it. Why do we need some bolts to fix it? But All right. If you say so, young lady, we shall try and find some bolts, I guess. Hmm. But, you know, listen to that ambience as well. It really does sound fairly ominous. I think um, the developer's done a good job here. I think this is my favorite area, this lab area. It really does look quite cool. Now that one needed a key, didn't it? Yeah. So we need to head back. Okay, so pretty sure in that room that we started in, there's another um, door somewhere. We got any other bullets or anything? I don't think so. I don't think so, Chief, but we do have another door here. 
wiring connecting the door. The emergency power are cut. I need to replace them. Why did they cut the wire into the emergency power? Could there be Zambles outside? Maybe. There's probably Zambles outside. No. But there is bullets. How many handgun bullets? 47. Okay, we've got a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, if you're not close enough, she won't actually auto-aim. That's definitely worth bearing in mind. Right, so we're going to hold bullets in stacks of 50 as well, which is a bit ass. But it is what it is. Hey, friend. Let's just go waste this guy. Come on, buddy. Need to use up some of these bullets anyway. Smoke them if you got them. Oh shit, what was that noise? They're coming! Yes. Yes, they are. Come on, you fucking bastard undead mutants. Oh, god damn it. Fucking. Look at this. Look at this. Look, they're all bunched up together. Look at that. I mean, I don't really feel like we're under any kind of threat with these guys, I'm not going to lie. Ooh. Ooh. Really? That's your lot, I guess. Okay. Three Zambles. Well, we can go into this room. Have a little look. This area is a little bit mazy from what I can remember, but it's not bad. Oh. Yeah. These crawling zombies are the worst. Oh, I could use these to open that passage. Use what to open the passage? Yeah. I mean, I guess it's fairly easy to maneuver around them, I suppose. Ah, right. So we've got some bolts here. Oh. But unfortunately... Can we just combine these together, please? Thank you. Unfortunately, we're out of. Oh, nice. We're out of inventory space, so we're gonna have to come back later. Yeah, the lighting here is the right. This bit is really dark, so if you're struggling to see, it's not just you. It is really freaking dark here. Now, we've got another door here. Let's have a little look. Ooh. Yeah, this is actually the way out of here, if I remember. I need to turn off the gas vents to proceed for you here. And explore the underground some more. Then that is what we shall do, young lady. That is what we shall do. But we need to... We really need an item box. That's like the most important thing so far. Uh, what about the door straight ahead? Probably something here. It opens. I mean, that's a thing. That's a good thing. And we've got Zambles in here. Come on, buddy. Come get me. Got a nice, big, juicy hunk of meat right in front of you. I mean, the thing is, right, it's not as if the developer just straight up didn't give a fuck. It's not like he made some garbage and threw it up and didn't care about it. You know, he actively is trying to make a game. And as I said before, I've definitely played worse. Uh, security is getting fairly serious down here. We've had multiple specimen outbreaks. Now in other facilities. And the supervisors are getting nervous. The storage caches across the base are still getting locked down by machine locks with combinations. Except for that idiot Keith, who is just playing around with the door codes. We're taking this seriously. I've locked down the storage cache on the other room using Omega Omega Omega. So 999. Anyone who has been dealing with our chemicals down here will know what that means. And if they forget, it's a short walk over to the laboratory to consult. Should be safe enough. Okay. So we have some more bullets here. Now, one thing I like about this is we've... If you pick up um, 
say, a cache of ammo, <clears throat> but you can't hold it all. Ah, the weapon locker is jammed with tools, yes. Need tools, I So... I totally forgot what I was saying there. Talk about brain fart. But yeah, I mean, the guy has tried to make something as entertaining as he possibly could. Personally, I think it works. <clears throat> right. So, we don't want that. Don't need those yet. Don't need that. We've got a heck of a lot of ammo. We do need that. We do want the tools. Anything else. So yeah, if you pick up, um, if you come up to some bullets and you can only carry five of them and there's like, I don't know, 17 there, it won't actually use all of the bullets up like some games. You will actually pick up what you can carry and the, uh, the rest will stay there, which is something that I really like. And it's surprising how many games don't bother with that. Now, go check this area out. Let's go open the weapon locker. There's a save disk area there, but we don't really care too much about that. I mean, it's pretty difficult here to get stuck, to be honest. Like, everything's fairly easy. We'll take the shotgun. That's what we get. So I'm guessing, like, if you don't use tools there, because there's three things that you can open on this level. Uh, and I think, unless I missed um, a set of tools, which is certainly possible, I think there's only two containers of tools. So let's go put the shotgun back, because we don't need that. Got the bolt. Now, dump this back. Wow. This. Oh, it's magnum rounds. Yeah, I thought we had shotgun shells. Well, aren't I stupid? The answer to that is yes. We are also almost out of time here. So let's go back. We can repair the door. I think there are some more of those uh, tyrants. Uh, we've got. There's probably ammo and stuff around here as well that I'm missing. Like I say, you know, nothing shines like it does in Resident Evil. The items aren't always obvious to pick up. Which, you know, some people might like that. I find it a little bit frustrating, but it's not too bad. You can certainly find... Oh, God. You can certainly find enough to get through. Right, I guess we probably didn't need to kill this guy. But fuck this guy. And it clears up some inventory as well. Win-win. Right. Oh. Yeah, we're not going to waste any time with this guy. You can see the areas are just repopulating with enemies. As we discovered earlier. And sometimes supplies come... Oh. Oh, look at that. There's some bullets right in front of us. Where we picked up that wire earlier it is now bullets. Ooh. Oh, there's are these shotgun shells. They are shotgun. Guess there's one in the pipe. Oh, hey, friend. How'd you like me to shoot your back? Oof. Yeah, that's got to be a critical hit, I'm guessing. I do love this camera angle here. Something like really ambient about it, you know? Alright, let's use the bolts and get the frick out of here. Oh, we got twitches. Now, I never realised these twitches had that um, long range attack. Wrong warning. Which, that's fine. 
She's gone. Okay, let's take the painkillers. Smoke them if you got them. Now, is there any bullets around here? Probably. Would be my guess. Oh! Save disc. Should we have a save disc? Maybe. Might save it. Yeah, might save it, I guess. Yeah, saving tanks your your score. And nothing here? Really? No bullets? I mean, I know the game's thrown a lot of ammo at us, but it'd be nice to get more. Really have run dry. Well, maybe that's an exaggeration, but we've used a lot of bullets. <sighs> and we're on 31 minutes already. But we do have some floor zombies. Really? Okay, so you can't run past these guys. Oh, they can spin around on a freaking dime. Yeah, not really worth avoiding those guys, to be honest. Alright, let's grab those. Oh, hello. Can even see him? My mistake, really. Come on, you big, bold fuck. Oof. Health is not great. Right, anyway guys, that's just about all we have time for. So, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this game with me. It's definitely something a little bit different. Um, I'm enjoying it <laughs> again. Yeah, I'm actually having some fun with this. So, till then guys, thanks for watching. <laughs>